Hey, what's good with you, man? This is Duke right here. Uh, what we about to get into today is... I'm basically just about to show y'all boys how to get started using the FL Studio. Because um, when I see a lot of people making beats, I see them do it just like this. They come in here with the, with the default, you know what I'm saying? Got the limiter on. You don't want this song. This limiter under there, you don't want that shit. It ain't, it ain't doing nothing for your beat and it ain't doing nothing for you you know what i'm talking about so we, we gonna get started um and i'm gonna show y'all how i do how i do my uh fruity loops and all that all right first what i start with is the background so let me take these off see this background plain boring it ain't gonna get you in the mood to make no beat. Everything needs to fit you, needs to tailor, tailor fit you. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna go ahead and change this. I already got stuff made that I did in uh, Photoshop. And I will be doing some Photoshop tutorials as well. And this image comes from my uh, sound clip page. That's my header, and I just use this. Bam. And that, that's tailor fit me, you know what I'm saying? Got my Texas, uh, recognize real. I, I say that constantly, man, because people need to recognize what's real and recognize what's, 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 what's fake, you know what I'm saying? And what's deceiving. Because people continuously get deceived, man. You got to analyze, man, and really think. You know what I'm talking about? Um, secondly, I'm going to change this tempo up here from uh, 130 to, i say about 150. Now, it usually would default at 140. Um, I go to uh, 150, 152, whatever. <clears> the <throat> reason I use um, higher tempos is because when you're using um, really, really, really low tempos like 60 or even 50 through through uh, 70, 80, or 90, you're not going to be able to do those <clears throat> those really good snare rolls or, or really good hi-hats. It's, it's going to be harder for you to do it, you know what I'm saying? And your beat is just gonna be it's gonna be too slow. This hill it gets your beat up, you know what I'm saying? It make it live, you know what I'm talking about. Now nah, I am from uh Texas man from the side. So <clears throat> every time I do a beat, man, you, you you know I gotta uh I gotta chop and screw it. So it it, it don't make me no difference, man, if I do it at a one fifty or two fifty. It's gonna get slowed down anyway, so this hill it just give me it give me a better feel for drums and, and, and real drums and shit like that. So do whatever you want, but I suggest if you're using a tempo like 70, 80, or 60, <clears throat> double it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're using 60, bump it up to 120. If you're using 70, bump it up to 140. You know what I'm talking about? And I use about, I used to use it about 75. So that's why I'm bumping it up to 150. So you just double it, and that'll allow you to get them, them different uh, drums and, and everything like that. It's a good look. All right. Secondly, what we're going to do here, I mean, third, we're going to take this limiter off. So just put none. And I'm about to show y'all how to get your, your master channel set up. You know what I'm talking about? First thing you want to do cut this down now, I usually go down to uh, one fourth which is 25 percent that boy should stay in school if he know that um, <coughs> the reason I do that is because you don't want nothing to clip in here now as far as all these I can turn these up all the way they can clip and then do whatever they want to do but as long as my master not clipping man then everything is good you feel me um, so we're going to show y'all what y'all need on here. Now 
Now, some things you will have to learn how to read before they will uh, actually benefit you, and that is the uh, spectrum, man. This is just <clears throat> strictly for, for analyzing and really seeing where your mix is at. It's always good to see your mix visually rather than hearing it because, as I say, everybody get deceived so your ears can be deceived. You know what I'm saying? If you've been working on on the beat, like, blasting it and, and all that type of stuff, your ears ain't going to be that fresh to really distinguish um, <clears throat> what's present, what's too loud, what's too low, because they worn out. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I tell people all the time, don't, don't, don't make a beat blasting it and then, like, you blasting that hole for, like, an hour and a half and... And then you, at the end, you want to go EQ. That ain't the way to go. Now, if you know how to use EQ and you know what frequencies you're going to need and what which you don't need, and go ahead and, and get you a pre-EQ in, but you're you going to need to take that break, get your ears fresh, and come back so your ears can really distinguish what needs to be EQ, what needs to be turned down, and all that. Um, secondly, you need a wave candle. It's the exact same uh, kind of thing as a spectrum, man. It's just something to analyze, and it'll let you know where all your frequencies are on your master. I usually uh, put a mini view on it, and you want to go to spectrum. And when you want it, when you want to see it, double click it, check out what range is hitting harder. Like, if you come to the low when your lows is right here, then your mids is all the way up here. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Your highs is up here. It'll let you know, hey, your mix is off. Your shit is off, man. You want that bass to thump, I'm telling you. All right. Moving on. Uh, number three, you want to do a fruity free filter. Do a low pass. Turn up to 1600 hertz. Now, you want to cut everything after 16,000 hertz. <clears throat> and that'll allow you for a, a more tighter, crisp mix because you don't want to use any frequencies that, that aren't being used. You don't want to have those in your mix because, you know what I'm saying, they bounce around, they distort, and they do all kind of things to your mix that, that you wouldn't know, but um, real producers will, will hear it. Cause they have an ear for that type of stuff. They be like, yeah, that mix, that mix ain't that crisp, but ain't that clean. You know what I'm talking about? So, sixteen thousand. That's just a start. Now, once you get your whole beat finished, see how far you can go down without you losing any quality in instruments. The instruments that I look for to lose quality is going to be like the higher frequency instruments, like a uh, open high. A symbol, a hi hat. Once I hear one of those lose quality, you know what I'm saying? Then I turn it back up a little bit and I leave it right there. So sometimes I can go down to like 14, like right here, and I I'll be able to cut out an extra thousand. It may not seem as as much as what it did, but it does help a lot, man. I'm telling you. Now you want to do another free uh filter with a high pass. And you want to take this one down to 40. Because you want to cut everything below <clears throat> 40 hertz. Because there's nothing there. Now, if you can't get exactly on 40, hold control on your keyboard. And it should be able to take you down. Simple as that. Put it on 40. All right. Now, after that, what you're going to need is a parametric EQ and with nah, not that one. you want number two uh, right there you want this one all right now go to presets and select I already got my presets for this so I'm showing y'all how I went and got it um, <clears throat> select this one here and this will cut those frequencies you cut the frequencies in here these will cut them again in here this is basically just ensuring 
<clears throat> that your mix is going to be very tight. Now, this is at 18,000. So, what I did was boost it over a little bit. And you can see up here, it'll let you know where you at. So, just go down. And you can stop right about there. And that'll basically uh, cut those same frequencies out. <clears throat> And give you a cleaner mix. So this here will give you a very, very tight mix. It was what we're gonna do here is boost the. Um, we're gonna boost the bass and the treble to make that mix sit better. So you come here and you boost number three about there. You come here and you can boost uh, number five about there. And that'll give you a much, much more tighter mix. You know what I'm talking about? So, try this stuff out, man. Use it. And it should work. Next, you're going to need a, uh, a Fruity Center. I'll turn it all the way on. And there's, there's really nothing to do with that, but you just need to have that on. What that does is it's going to take out anything... <clears throat> any kind of unwanted noises in your mix you know what i'm saying that can that if you listen hard enough you'll be able to hear it but most people can't hear it but this is always good to have on because it'll take out all that type of stuff all that unwanted uh white noise and all that kind of stuff man so just turn that on and let it do its job um next thing i do is turn on the stereo enhancer i don't do very much with it i used to just go like about right here because i don't like my beat to be so separated that it gets so thin i see some people separate it all the way i don't i don't understand that um it's it's, it's basically um whatever your preference is you know what i'm saying i like my beats to hit harder and I don't like them to be separated and, and all thin. Now there, I'm sure <clears throat> if you worked at it, you can separate it and make it hit hard at the same time. Uh, so I encourage you to work on it. But this is how I do it. This is how I'm going to get down with it. <clears throat> I just usually put it in the middle uh, right here and there. And let it separate a little bit. Just to give it a little bit to distinguish. All right. Now on your selected. Put another wave candle. Mini view spectrum. Boom. Boom. Boost it up. Now what this would do here is whatever instrument you have selected, it'll show you. It'll show you the what what frequencies that instrument is in. It'll show you what what good spot it is. <clears throat> Like where the main instrument is in that instrument, it'll be like real yellow. It'll be yellow. Let me see how much time I got. All right. <clears throat> it'll be yellow. And then you can pretty much boost up that frequency when you go to start EQing everything. All right. Now, I hope this uh helped a lot of people, man. Get your, get your uh, free loop set up. Now, first, let me show y'all how to save this real quick because I'm running out of time, man. Uh, man, go to templates. When you go to save, go to templates. This is the Fruity Loops. Go to minimal, empty. You want to boom here. You want to delete it. I'm not going to delete it because I already did it, but you want to delete it. And then you want to save it. Right? You want to save it. It'll say, do you want to replace? Say yes. And then when you open it back up, Fruity Loops will come up just like this, and it'll have everything you need. All right, then get into this. Delete all these. You want to delete them all, and I go to channels, and I put one of each of my VSTs on it and save it like that, so my VSTs will come up with everything. I didn't get to that part, my bad, but I'm running out of time. So y'all holla at your boy, man. I hope this helped a lot of people. Holla.